Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. I hope that I am making things satisfactory for you guys in terms of the quality of the videos and such. And I apologize in advance if I fail to do so. For this video, I'm going to introduce three new characters, all of which are unique in their own designation, if that makes any sense, you know? And if you guys bear with me, I'll read the three of them to you. Here's the first one. Elasticar. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 5 feet 7 inches. Weight, 75 pounds. Status Hero and Legion of Stretchers member. Base Two Earths Mobile. Intelligence Two and a Half Brains. Behavior Loopy, Protective, and Overly Goofy. He never really cares if someone judges him for how senseless or random he is. Lethality Only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, extreme temperatures. Powers. He possesses all the powers of a common car, along with the powers of uncanny elasticity and the ability to speak English. Eyes, yellow headlights. Hair, none. Origin. One time, Madame Shear felt that she should create a being with a variety of elastic-based capabilities. Ironically, when the process of making it was complete, she realized that she created a talking purple car with elasticity and an unbearably goofy personality. Being named simply Elasticar, the new creature went to make himself useful and eventually helped the demonic Denstrini with a fight against the villainous Spino Sapien. Since then, Elasticar was marked as a hero to the innocents, and was soon hired by the heroic Late Elastic to become a new member of the Legion of Stretchers, a hero team dedicated to elasticity. Costume? None. Teams? Solitary, with the Legion of Stretchers, and other heroes. Original inspiration? Elasticity, and cars. I hope that's an interesting character for you guys and such. Very unique. And here's the next one that I'm going to introduce. Just, I hope you guys are on board with the sequencing and such. Thank you in advance. Famish. Real name, unrevealed. Height, 6 feet 2 inches. Weight, 207 pounds. Status, hero. And Universal Misfits member. Base, Altered Dimension, Mobile. Intelligence, Three Brains. Behavior, Protective yet craving. She'll always try to cure her insatiable hunger. Lethality, Only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, Her stomach. She has no healing factor. Powers, She possesses a large, sharp-toothed mouth on her stomach that could eat any form of matter. She also has some martial arts skills, along with possessing a huge appetite due to her second mouth. Eyes, blackish blue. Hair, bright brown and a ponytail. Origin. In the Alter Dimension, the native Hunger is rather a more unexpected version of her known only as Famish who's so far trying to keep her powers from ruining her social reputation. One day, Famish was transported by portal to the default dimension, where she was recruited by Faceless to help the Universal Misfits deal with a Dracornet infestation. After dealing with the swarm, Famish was congr congratulated by the people she saved. After getting a Ring of Nourishment as a reward from Pym, Famish would enjoy helping the Universal Misfits and other heroes with objectives. Costume. She wears the same clothes as Hunger. Teams. Solitary with the Universal Misfits and other heroes. 
Original Inspiration, DC's Matter Eating Lab. I hope that's an efficient one. If there's any characters that I mentioned you guys don't know much about, I apologize. I swear I will introduce them to you guys at some point in the long run. I promise. Here's the last character I'm going to introduce to this video. Galatia. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 6 feet 3 inches. Weight, 177 pounds. Status, hero and marble duplicate of Aphrodite. Base, as Olympias mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, loving and seductive. She always admires being compared with Aphrodite. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, rejection, cosmic forces, and misogyny. Powers, she possesses the same powers as Aphrodite, along with the power to turn all or part of herself into marble. Eyes, sky blue. Hair, vivid gold in shoulder length. Origin. One time, goddess figured that since Aphrodite was so powerful in terms of her beauty, that there should be another one of her to accompany her. To give her company, basically. Using her cosmic powers, Goddess created a marble duplicate of the Goddess of Love and Beauty, whom she named Galatia after the ancient legend. Eventually, Galatia learned that there was a battle between the Zanzars and the Yauzars, and when she appeared to them in the battle, they were so entranced by her beauty that they decided to end the conflict. Since then, Galatia would always be accepted by Aphrodite as a lifelong friend and ally. Costume. She dresses in a Greek toga. Teams. Solitary with Aphrodite and other heroes. Fortune inspiration. Galatia of Greek mythology. Well, those are the three characters and such. And second mention, I promise to introduce some of the uh, briefly mentioned characters in the future. I hope you guys had a fine Thanksgiving, and I hope you guys are going to have a decent Christmas and New Year. I just hope things would work out, you know? If you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice. And I hope you guys have a fine December and such. And um, hope you guys are willing to hear more and such throughout the passing of time. And I, you know, how it is. And... Enjoy your time for this uh, winter and such, and until next time, in transmission.